All right, Tori, so tell me exactly what your role is here at RCR. So I'm the president of RCR. And partnerships is a big thing with this company and long running partnerships. Tell me a little bit about Lucas Oil and your relationship with them. So we've been partners with Lucas since 2014. And um, we were in a situation where um, we had a relationship with an oil company, but we weren't really happy with the product. And so we started looking around and one of the names that came up was Lucas. And so we mentioned that to Richard and he said, well, I've known Forrest for a number of years off and on in, through racing and other endeavors. And he said, I'll give him a call. So Richard called Forrest and uh, Forrest, you know, liked what he heard and, and uh, said, I'm going to come visit you, Richard. So he came, we gave him a tour of our facilities. Uh, we talked for a while and he said, you know, we've got a lot in common. We've got similar values, similar backgrounds. I like you. We're going to do a deal. And so that was uh, in 2013, and we started the partnership in 2014, and it's been fantastic. And the rest was history, exactly. as they say. That's right. Tell me about the relationship and, and a partnership, really, with Lucas and how it's unique for this company. So the thing that makes it most unique is the fact that it is really such a an essential product for us. It's, you know, it's one of the key things that as an organization, especially as an engine company, you just have to get right because you cannot afford to go to the racetrack and have engine failures. And it's different than other relationships where the partner is not supplying a critical component for us. And with Lucas, it is probably the most critical component. For the engine. You know, when it comes to NASCAR, and I, I think across the board for motorsports, but fans are so loyal. They want to support the products, the people, the businesses that support NASCAR. What do you see in here with a product like Lucas, where you're racing on Saturdays and Sundays, but then they can go buy it. The consumer can actually support you. Yes. And, and we do see that. Our fans are loyal. And I think, you know, the main reason that they're so loyal is they understand that we need partners. We need corporate partnerships in order to be able to get to the racetrack. And so they vote with their wallets. They support us with their wallets and and they support the companies that support us. And and Lucas is is no exception to that. Um, they're on our, our race cars every week and in our race cars every week. And so to be able for Lucas to have that validation as well as the brand exposure among a loyal audience is, is really valuable to them. And they see that um, in stores across the country. It was really neat this year, early on, we saw Lucas as the primary sponsor. What what takes a company from an associate to a primary? We have companies, and Lucas is a good example of that, where um, they because they're an integral component of what we do, they're an associate sponsor, and they're on our car every week. Um, and then at various times during the year, if it fits with their overall marketing campaign for the year, they will become a, a primary sponsor. So they're on every week, but occasionally they're, uh, they're a primary sponsor. And we have a number of them that, that we rotate throughout the course of the season. Well, I think they're a good luck charm. Yes, they are. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's so great to, to win during the second race of the year, you know, bringing Kyle Busch on board and having all of the talk about you know, what the possibilities were. I think it was it was great to, to get that win early on. I, I talked to Randall after our luncheon today, and I, I said, must be a big relief for you. And he said, <laughs> you are kidding. Absolutely. What's it like for you and, and for those behind the scenes at this company to see a brand and a partner like Lucas step up, take that chance, right? And they're on the side of the car, and then all of a sudden they go to victory lane, and you get to see all those people. It's, it's really gratifying because you're right. There's a lot of behind the scenes work that goes on, um, a lot of selling and convincing and relationship building. And so that kind of is the ultimate payoff to go to Victory Lane and be able to celebrate and spray champagne and see the smiles on everybody's faces. It, it, it really is gratifying. It's, it's one of the most fun parts of, about being involved in the sport. And Tori, thank you so much. Thank Continued you, Jamie. Continued success. Off to a great start. Thank you very much. We appreciate it.